Hey guys, today I wanted to quickly recap what we talked about during our Skype meeting Thursday, April 9th. And this lesson was about adding value to your items. Now, Tuesday we introduced the still life project. Wednesday we talked about setting up a proper still life, how to, and including overlapping with your three to four items. And today is about value and shading. So for mine, I've kind of, you, I saw yesterday that I, you guys saw yesterday that I sketched out a few of my items. Now I'm gonna start adding some value. So what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to look. So like right here, you can see a dark value. So I tried to add that in there. Now I need to blend it out a little bit. And then it's definitely dark over here. And then also some darkness around the rim as well for this smaller glass. So with this one, I have some work to do on these shoulders. This was just a quick mapping out from yesterday. So at home, I know that you do not have tortillions at home, or maybe you do leftover from our last project, but you can use things like paper towel, you can use a Q-tip, you can even use um, actually a paintbrush to blend out the values. Um, there's a lot of different things you can use to grab that lead and blend it around. So make sure that you have a regular pencil and not a mechanical pencil. They just don't work very well for adding value. So when you're adding value, make sure that you're actually looking at the item. Do not just guess what you think it should look like. So I'm going to start with this one and I'm going to start adding this dark line right here. And I'm just trying to mimic and I'll fix these little shoulders here too. And now I can Remember, always use the side of your pencil to create that smoother lead. And then I'm gonna blend this out just a little bit with my pencil before I go in with my napkin. You can see I already have some lead on it. And that actually works really nice. And then look at the bottom here because I can still see this ellipse and we remember and hopefully we remember that an ellipse is a circle that is at an angle and then I'm gonna add in there's like some few dark areas we did a little bit of a glass study uh, a few weeks before our teacher drawings I need to fix this part too but make sure that the bottom line is make sure that you're looking at the glass or your items, excuse me, and not just guessing. So I'm gonna try to go through and find those dark areas and then I can go through and blend them out. So hopefully this helps you. You can use any items from around your house that you want to create your own still life. Make sure that you are including the shadows that are on the table too. So let me know if you have any questions about this lesson, Skype me, and if you want to, you can Skype me and show me your progress and I can kind of help you figure out what maybe some areas of focus that you could go back and work on to improve your drawing. Have a great day.